If you've been itching to spend your tax return on a down payment for a new car, think again. Local News 8's Emma uh, Ionacone shows us why we may need to settle for a used one. Obviously, uh, if you've been driving around town, you've noticed that uh, the lots are a little bit uh, thin on inventory. Um, mainly that's due to uh, the shortage of new cars. The pandemic economy hitting car lots now as semiconductor chips are in short supply. New cars need hundreds of these chips, but manufacturers just can't get their hands on them, making new cars hard to come by these days. Now, even Phil Meter, who typically has some of the widest inventory in the area, they're feeling the impacts of the new car shortage too. Over here, they typically have 45 to 50 new cars on display. Now they only have 12 new cars on the lot. But people are still buying cars. In fact, it's been pretty busy at car dealerships around town. Last month was pretty unreal. We uh, had, you know, record numbers and uh, we sold sold down to almost n no cars and I mean our used cars were even depleted. Buyers are having to turn to used vehicles which is driving up the price of your old car. Your trade-in's worth uh, quite a bit more than it would have been. <laughs> Consulting firm Alex Partners estimates the chip shortage is going to cost the auto industry $110 billion this year, but they expect the supply chain to open up by about Q4. We do have, you know, they're getting production ramped up and we do have cars in the pipeline, but it's just going to take time. Reporting in Pocatello, I'm Emma Iannico.